Hey, this is Steve from SewingGold.com, and I'm going to explain how to install uh, a needle positioner on this 1541S. Um, goes for the 1541 also. So the first thing we need to do is, depending on the needle positioner you're going to get, so like I've got this one here, okay, and it doesn't fit, okay? So what we need to do is gra grab some fine grit sandpaper. We're going to turn the machine on. We're going to just sand this thing down a little bit. So make sure you have no thread in the machine. Uh, put the foot in the up position. And then we're going to just sand this down a little bit. So we're going to run the machine. And we'll see if that works. Just sand it down a little bit. This one needs a little more. There we go. Okay, so that took about, I don't know, 30 seconds. All right, so now we will get into installing the actual needle positioner. Okay, so you're gonna get some hardware that comes with the needle positioner, and I just went up and set these two together. So um, you've got this larger screw with two ends, Okay, and then you've got the smaller screw with two ends. You're only going to get one of these, okay? But you're going to get all these nuts. All right, so what I did with this one, this one's going to go closer to the machine if I want to use this one. So this one, would go, this one would go like this, and I'll explain, and then this one would go like this. So there's two different spots on the machine that we could use. We could remove this screw from the belt guard here, install this one in here, or we can remove this screw from the belt guard and install this here. It's up to you, it doesn't matter. For this video, I'm gonna remove this one, but if I sent you this one, then, like I said, you're gonna take this, the shorter end and go here. This one, we're gonna take the longer end and go here. So I'm gonna grab a screwdriver and remove this and then I'll come back Okay, I removed the screw, and now I'm going to just loosen this or take it off. It might be easier for me to take it off, then I can screw this in. So I'm going to take this piece off. I'm going to screw this in there. It doesn't have to be overly tight, as long as it holds. If you want to make it tighter, you can. All right, so now I'm going to grab the needle positioner. Here's my needle positioner. And with this piece, it's sort of hard to put it in here. Okay, you could twist it in, or you could just push it in. It's up to you. Okay, so push, twist. Okay. I just want to get a feel of how far it's going to go on. And that's pretty good. Okay, you see how I did that? So I put this on, and then I went like this. Okay. So now I'm going to back this nut here out. Up into the point where it reaches that. And then, and just for time, I'm not going to tighten these. All right. So now the needle positioner's on. I'm not tightening these yet. Okay. And that looks good for now. All right. So now what I'm going to do is just I want to tighten one of these. I'm just going to tighten one, one of the screws. There's two screws. I keep saying these. I apologize. There's two screws on here, and I'm using an Allen wrench or hex key. I'm going to just tighten one. You don't have to overly tighten it. Don't tighten both. All right. Now that I've tightened that, I'm going to have to turn my motor off because I had it on. And then I'm going to plug the needle positioner in. 
Um, I'm going to remove my my camera here just to put it underneath just so I can show you where to plug the needle positioner in. So give me one second while I reposition. All right, so when we look under the motor, there's only one spot that this piece can go because this is four pins here, okay? And there's a four pin right here, not this two pin. Okay, so we're going to plug it into the four pin. Just like that, okay? And you could put that piece over it too. I just don't have two hands right now. All right, so I'm going to pause again and then come back around. All right, now I'm going to show you how to adjust the needle positioner. So we're going to want to make sure we're going to get it in the down position. That's what most people want. We can do up also. So I'm going to turn the motor on. I've tightened one of these uh, Allen wrench screws. Okay? Alright. So I'm going to run the machine and see where the motor stops. It's almost stopping down. Let's just see where it goes up. Nope. So it's not quite perfect where I want it. So on the motor you have the end button. Okay, if we hit the end button, we're going to see if it says up or down. Okay, and then once you push it, it should program it. So if you see up, it's up, obviously, and down is down. So right now, I've got mine set to down, and it's not quite stopping all the way down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen that screw that I tightened, okay? I am going to hold this silver piece here, not the, the positioner itself, just the actual, yeah, part of the positioner, the, the metal part of the positioner. I'm going to hold it so it doesn't move and I'm going to turn the wheel to get it to my down position, okay? It's not going to always be perfect, so you're going to have to make little adjustments. Okay, so now I'm going to tighten, all right, and here we go again. I'm going to try it again. Now it's stopping nice and down, and on that heel push, it's not going up as much as I want it to, so I'm going to have to make a little more of an adjustment again. I'd like to get on the heel, when I hit my heel, I'd like to get the take-up lever almost all the way up. Okay, so I'm going to make that adjustment again. So it's a little bit of a trial and error. So again, loosen, turn a little more, and let's see how I got it. Hopefully we got it perfect this time. Needle down again, heel push, almost. So just a little tiny bit more I want it. So here we go again, just get it back in the down position. And it's okay if this thing rocks a little bit. Turn again, and just a little more down. Didn't loosen this enough. Okay. And I think this might be it. Okay. Needle down, heel push, take up level all the way up. Perfect. So now once I'm done with that, I'm going to tighten both screws. Okay. Nice and tight. I'll tighten these two things with a small wrench. And then I'm good to go. So here we go again. You can see it. Needle down, back, and then take up lever back in the up position. I hope that helps you set up your new uh, brushless servo motor. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I try my best to get to these comments and questions, but I don't always have a ton of time. Um, but hope that helps. Uh, I'm Steve from SewingGold.com. Thank you very much.